News first, news line with Faraz Shaukat Ali on TV One. And a very good evening to you and a warm welcome to Newsline Recording. My guest today is a man very much in the news. And um, he's uh, probably got a lot of things to say that you and I want to know um, the answers to, I suppose. Um, he's got the answers, it looks like. But let's ask him, shall we? He's, of course, none other than the former chairman of the Public Utilities Commission of Sri Lanka, um, and um, he's right here. Very good evening to you, Mr. Janaka Ratnaika. Very good evening. Thank you very much for coming here. My pleasure. Um, of course, uh, you've been on my program before. Yes. And we've much enjoyed it, and we are continuing to enjoy you here. But now that Parliament has uh, uh, removed you yes. um, in a using a system which is available constitutionally yeah. to do so, Yes. I suppose the system is right. Yes, system is right. And what happened was, you know, to remove and to appoint a chairman or a member to the Public Utilities Commission and removal is clearly demarcated in the Act of PUCSL of 2002. Right. So they appointed me technically according to the Act. Mm -hmm. They removed me technically according to that. I have no regrets. So they are going through the correct procedure. I respect that. Mm. I actually, I quit maybe one day before the election day, I knew the result. But now, yes. if we were to move on, yes. what do you um, intend doing? You said that you are free of the shackles yes. of uh, having this job. Yes. Uh, clearly, when you accepted the job, you didn't consider these as shackles. But as time went by, yes. you considered yes. them shackles. Yes. Um, what do you what are you going to do? No, I'm. A, you say you're going to be in politics. What are you going no, to do? No, I'm a businessman. I will concentrate hundred percent on my business yeah. until the situation is right for me to come into politics. I know that the need of the genuine uh, leaders are needed, and that vacuum is very huge mm. because now for last seventy five years yeah. the politicians, you know, in from time to time they are messed up. The economy. So yeah. we were talking about maybe 25 years back, Sri Lanka is a developing country. Yeah. Then the middle income country. Now we have gone to a bankrupt country. So mm. now there are four layers, developing, underdeveloped and bankrupt. We have hit the bottom. Now say what happens is like uh, this cannot be continued. Therefore I think uh, some good leaders with some vision should come forward and rally around and change the system. And you, and I, I and you present a, yourself as one of those good leaders. No, it has to be decided by the public. Right. And what happens is that uh, you know the mistakes that the past politicians for 75 years, what they have done to this economy and mm. the country, and it, it is in ruin and in a bankrupt stage. Mm. Now, what happens is if the same politicians will continue mm -hmm. with the same mandate that they have. So maybe in another 75 years also, we are talking about the same thing, economic problems that we have. And we need to make sure that that, that has, to, we need to make sure that that system will come to us stand still, stop, and uh, somebody with a good vision, a good plan, with people's mandate, with people's consent, mm. with exclusive governance and exclusive uh, leadership, yes. inclusive leadership, people should come and do the right thing. Should come, we all should agree. Come. We yes. should come, we all agree. Yes. 16 million people will agree with you. Yes. Should come. Yes. But they've never come. They all say the same thing. They will come, we'll do it better. Elect us next time round, it'll be different. Every one of them says the same thing. Yes. But equally, in terms of the chaos that's happened over the last few yes. days, yes. many allege that all this chaos was pre planned by you just to win the hearts and minds of the <laughs> no. people of this country no. so that you can context for the next election no. and win. Is that true? No, it is not true because I was, I was there at the right time yeah. with the right opportunity. Yeah. You see, when I was appointed, everything was normal, maybe two years back. Yeah. I, I came as a chairman two years back. Yeah. Everything was perfect, but everything changed with the short-sighted uh, actions of certain politicians, mm. which the stable economy or maybe the smooth economy has been ruined. And uh, these politicians who have voted against me are responsible. And again, end of the day, people, people also responsible because they have voted these people in. Mm. Now, what happened yesterday, now, 
the 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 chairman or a member who has been work, talking of and doing some uh, work for the people is been outvoted by the members of the parliament who were voted by the public mm -hmm. so this is very unfortunate mm. and this has to come this should, this has to be stopped because now to run a economy run a country you need to have proper uh, policies mm. and i consider public duties commission is a, a proper a policy of a country mm. i think when we need around 10 commissions of this nature what they are trying to do is to destroy what we have also that's right. why yesterday they with uh, absolute majority they removed a chairman of an independent commission against the mandate of their own uh, voters and this is very unfortunate gl peris spoke yesterday he seems to be supportive of you yes Mr. Sumandiran yes. did the same thing. Um, uh, Vasu, yes. Devanani Kara, Daisri Jaisekra said the same thing. Yes. It looks like you've got all these politicians, political parties on tap like that. Which one of these are you going to pro uh, represent in your quest to lead the country? No. If you look at all these parties today, people are talking about... And they, they, they hate these 225 politicians mm. who are elected mm. by them in the parliament. So therefore, I don't think that I will rally around with anyone at this moment. And if the people think I'm the, the proven or maybe the chosen leader, I think there are many political parties will be available. It's in a political parties only just a vehicle for you to go to the next level. Do you agree with this system where you can't really run to be the president as an independent? You need a party. Yes. I think there are many parties in Sri Lanka, more than 90, 80 parties I heard. I don't know whether I'm correct. Mm. But if you, if you are the right leader, if you are the right person, wanted by the people, there will be many parties available. In fact, you know, there are, the party owners are always talking to me. I'm mm -hmm. not interested to be joining any party, mm. any major political party, so minor, because it is not the need at the moment. Mm. Uh, what we need is there's a huge vacuum created by the politicians and the, by the need of the people. So when you create that vacuum, the enough of opportunities will be there. So now you it, seize the opportunity at the right time. Now, you know, you, you, because you want to represent the people and yes. you want to, you know, uh, go places and take the people along with you. Yes. Uh, once upon a time, you said that you could actually reduce the electricity tariff yes. by 27%. Yeah. Yesterday, the Minister of uh, Power and Energy Mr. Karchana uh, said that the CB incurred a loss of 32 billion rupees as the tariff revision was delayed by a month because of your certain <laughs> action. Although we all know that the yeah. CB makes a loss. Yes. No, I do not technically agree with them. The reason is that now government has taken the decision. Of course, the PCL took this decision many years back to revise the tariff twice a year. That is 1st of January and 1st of July. Mm. Now, for us to change the tariff or re revise the tariff of 1st of July, they should send this proposal 45 days before. Mm. Now, like they send the proposal on the 5th of May in order to increase it by 1st of July. You have to give 45 days because we need to go for public consultation. Now, when they send the proposal on the 10th of January, how do you do that? And again, you can't uh, increase the tariff effective from maybe an earlier date. It is not technically possible. Tariff revision is subject to a stringent process with public consultation. You have to follow it. That's the law of the country. Mm. Although the cabinet say that increase with effective from 1st of January on the 10th of January, technically members of the commission, according to the law, you can't do that. Well, so therefore, I, I, I vehemently be. reject that allegation because this, the politicians do not know this and they have no knowledge. And we had the expertise as PUCSA revising the tariff. We did it right in August. We did it right in February. But unfortunately, politically appointed members did not agree with what we said. Mm. And instead, they increased the tariff by 65%. And now they say, according to the latest tariff revision, mm. what we are looking at from July, yeah. you can reduce the tariff average by 27%. It is the truth. Mm. So I hope that the, the next future chairman and the members will get together and at least do what is right, although they did not uh, do it maybe in uh, February 35. Also, uh, still on the subject of power, yes. uh, but not uh, political power, <laughs> but electricity <laughs> yes. power. The CEB is, there's a proposal to break it up into yes. 14 
different private units and companies pri pri private under private the companies. company sector 2007 right who will be the majority shareholder shareholders of private companies can be either government or the private sector yeah. once you break this big entity into 14 entities companies assigning these uh, valuable the assets hmm. to private sector the ownership can be changed just like that but if it's the, the treasury secretary holding the shares no company is a company shareholder whether it is a treasury secretary or maybe the governor of the central bank or me or you or the public hmm. shareholding can be of a private company can be just transfer now what happens is when you are breaking this one entity which they cannot make when they cannot manage one entity can they manage 14 entities? what would you like to see happen because let's say lo looking at the appointments of directors for example yes you know, a, would you like to uh, let them have an exam or is there some exam. criteria what is it or are there going to be the lackeys and the ayas and the cousins and yes yes and now i was you know like basically uh, did not agree with certain politicians they said, they said that my appointment is political and we know in this country all these high posts are given on political affiliations mm. what happens is all these political affiliations when you take up the job you keep, you keep your spine straight and you don't bend down to anyone you go by the rule and manage it so what happens is when i did that politicians did not like and they changed me now see what happens now when they cannot make one entity profitable or financially viable how can they break this the huge company into 14 companies mm. and have 14 CEOs, 14 boards. So there will be about 125 this, people then? 125 people minimum. So then and again... All, would you, do you think they'll all be given to the boys? Boys, as in, <laughs> as in you know... Yeah, if you look at the appointments in uh, certain uh, entities, people who are not capable yeah. are given these jobs and they are unable to do it. Or otherwise, what they do, they will do what exactly a politician wants. Yeah. So why I would... I out, out, out yesterday because I did not do what the politician wants. Mm. So therefore, I am out. They will bring somebody in who will obey the, the uh, demands and the commands of uh, politicians and they will run the way that they want. Mm. And what happens is, end of the day, like the last uh, uh, tariff hike, the people who are unable to manage their even the day-to-day -day life, yeah. but with what they get, they are landed with huge amount of tariff hike. And if you look at the lowest category of 0 to 30. And before August, it was 5 rupees. Now it is 66 rupees. 1,200% increase over the last two inc increments. Mm. That is against the recommendation of the PCS. And what we recommended is from uh, 5 to 8 in August, 8 to 10. Instead, what they did was 8 to 32. 260% mm. increase. Now they are talking about that category, after increasing for th by 1,200 mm. over the years, 29%. And this is a ridiculous and uh, laughing stock. Reason is that the, these politicians who are there, they do not, they lack the knowledge in finance, they lack the knowledge, they have no common sense, they know nothing about uh, rupees and cents, the bottom line. And what they need, need to do is at CB, you need to financially discipline them first before you break into pieces. Mm -hmm. What happens is they get 50 billion income and they cannot manage it. You look at their cash flows last two months after increasing the tariff twice. They still lost and they still borrowed 22 billion from these two banks. And if they increase to recover their cost, after getting 50 billion a month, still they can't manage this. Now, even if you increase that up to 100 billion a month, still they can't because they lack the, the knowledge in finances, mm. get the right people. Mm. And this entity CB is twice the bigger, bigger than the largest private company in the country. And this private company has huge workforce experts. But here, same people just manage 10 billion and 50 billion now. Mm -hmm. Even they can't manage their monthly cash flow. So you fix it first. Then talk, think about restructuring. Unless what happens is, when they are unable to make, manage one company, you have 14 boards, as you rightly said, 125 people, maybe political affiliated people, they run it, ruin it. And these properties like uh, Reservoirs, Mahaveli, mm -hmm. And coal. We'll, we'll, be come, going we'll come to that yes. point. We need to go for a break. Uh, yes, we'll go for a break, take a look at this evening's headlines, and then return to Janika Ratnaika, our guest tonight on Newsline Recording. See you on the other side of the break. News First, Newsline with Faraz Shaukat Ali on TV One.
TV One. TV for life. MP Chamindu Vijay Siri responds to Minister Kanchana over the Sinopec deal. Avasane peena wa karu niyo chakata na ayka tumani pulvara au ne karab hi dala. Or maite ne dyan ne abe kaurat hima yanni ne. Two shootings in Gaul within 24 hours. Sri Lanka to increase fuel quota from next month. Who is the state minister exerting pressure on the ministry secretary? TV One, TV for life. When a heart attack strikes, every minute makes the difference between life and death. With the right care and treatment at the hand of the most skilled surgeons and medical professionals. With the perfect environment for recovery. Darden's Heart Center. Dedicated to you. Gamma for the people by the people. News First Newsline with Faraz Shaukat Ali on TV1. Former chairman of the PUCSL, the one who was removed uh, by uh, the House. Janaka Ratnaik is with me this evening. Mr. Ratnaik, thank you really for coming um, to our program. But I have m many questions uh, that needs answering. It's, and now I'm sure you'll be able to. Partly Champika has made a new party. Yes. Do you think you might consider joining him? No, I will not join anyone because this is not the right time. I think people need not parties, the leaders. And so then when what the about... right leader is found, there will be many parties, many people. Do you know all this drama that's happened yes. last few days and yes. so on? Do you think that this is all because you were at loggerhead with the minister? No, I think uh, even before the minister was appointed, when the present president was the prime minister, mm. At his inaugural meeting, he said, get me 113, I will remove him. This was in February last year. Really? And subsequent to that, the next day, his secretary, Shaman Ekanayaka, phoned my personal assistant and said that, do not tell your chairman not to talk anything about, not to criticize what Prime Minister said. So I called him the next day and said that, you shut your mouth, this is an independent commission, and I will mind my this thing, and not to interfere. To, if, to that effect, I send him a letter next day asking for them to be aware that I will manage. And this uh, matter was happening for last over one year. Then only the minister, the present minister has been appointed. And during my time of two years, there were five ministers mm. who handling the same portfolio. What happens is, these ministers come and go, but the present one is different. And uh, I think is uh, better than the others. I need to give that credit. Mm. But what happens is, he should listen to experts, especially to the commission, because they are the people who should give advice to the government. What happens is, they do not take our advice. Instead, they go by their political mandate. And finally, what happens is, the innocent, vulnerable people will be landed with huge tariff, mm. where they are unable to manage their day-to-day -day life. And uh, talk, going, back to, uh, going back to your removal, actually, do you think more individuals yeah. like you, who have held these independent positions. Do you think they uh, will suffer the same fate as you? No, because they do not talk or act like me. They will bend their knees and the spine to the politicians mm. and therefore this need is, will not arise. And again, removal of this kind of, uh, you know, this type of things, I don't think ever happened. I think maybe the, it will go to history because they wanted 113. This is the only position the members of the PUCSL to be removed, only that you need 
absolute majority in the parliament. Mm -hmm. And uh, there should be a process. But the other commissions, I don't think. Mm. Uh, can we go return back to the breakup? Yes. The, some people call it the destruction yes. of the CEB. Yeah. What about the hydro plants? The, the hydro plants, ladies and gentlemen, the loans have been repaid. Yes. And the people, the sovereign people own these plants now. Yes. And the cost of hydro produced electricity is far, far cheaper yes. now yeah. than anything else. Yes. Why should these be hived off into a separate company, which will probably make, obviously make profit, but isn't there a system that can be used to deploy so that the power generated by hydro, where the loans have all been paid off, can't they be utilized towards the benefit of the public? That should be the way. Now, I feel this is not a destruction. This is a suicidal mission. mission. And they should not do it because the resources, national resources, belongs to the people, as you rightly said. Loans were paid, paid by the, the public of this country. And not only these are important resources, they are with national interest. Mm -hmm. And these reservoirs are not uh, giving water only for power generation. Their mm. primary objective is to cultivate drinking, thirdly, only for power generation. And when you are breaking these uh, reservoirs and giving them to a private companies is not good because this resource should be, should be owned by the people which they have paid. And what happens is now say when it is owned by a private company, they can change the shareholding maybe overnight. One transaction is gone. Right. Then what happens is if it goes to the wrong hands, now you say rightly said that generation of power from hydro yeah. is less than 3, 3 rupees and 50 cents per unit. Indeed. Which they are selling at 30 rupees now. Yeah. which was earlier sold at 10 rupees. Now see the huge amount of profit. Now in, in, in one fine day you feel that the owner of uh, Mahaveli uh, pa the power plant will say, I, know, I, I, we, I need priority for power generation, therefore water will not be given to uh, agriculture and drinking. Because it, there's a clause in that particular draft uh, proposal to say that the price should be given to the power generation. Dispatch, water mm -hmm. dispatch. And the, the, the priority. Price should be given to water dispatch. Now, what happens is, you know, it's a third third priority, and therefore you need to be careful. These are, you know, assets, you know, owned by the people, paid by the well, people. How would you propose that the people benefit from the low cost of uh, hydropower? Now, see, we generate around 5,000 gigawatt hours per year mm. from water, which is costing only 3 rupees and 50 cents. And to generate 5,000 units, it will cost only 16 billion rupees. Mm. One can, six. Can you divide that up and... No, let me. Yeah. Yes. Then, to de de uh, de generate the same amount of 5,000 units from thermal will cost you 344 billion. Wow. Against 16 billion. One six. 20 times... One six. One six, 344. 20 times of one six. To generate the same amount from coal, will cost you 250 billion 16 times. And therefore, one day, if one fine day, if, you, if the owner of that uh, reservoir will say that I need 60 rupees per unit and give me priority for water, what will happen to people? Because the owners are somebody else. And you say the case of uh, coal, they produce 40% of power generation, mm. single plant, mm. go to the wrong hands. They can control the energy security of the country. These are things that they need to consider before they break this. And restructuring is, they need to bring the financial restructuring first, reduce, reduce the losses, and then take loss-making entities, try to make them, with the experts, a profitable ventures. But New generation plants, water especially, they make money. But you're talking like a real hard-node businessman. Yes. Do you think that people who are holding political office yes. understand half of what you just said? <laughs> this the, you know, sad story of this economy. They get the wrong people, wrong combinations. Many political appointees, instead of you know, using their knowledge and expertise into this, they go behind politicians. They do whatever they want. That's why, since I did not do that only, I was outvoted yesterday mm -hmm. by the people who were selected by the, the voters. Mm. And this is, a, this is the fate of when you are trying to do straight, a direct job.
So it is not uh, accepted by mm. so-called politicians who lack common sense and knowledge of running business. How frustrated are you at the present system in Sri Lanka? Frustrated means I was trying my best to do with the opportunity given to me as the chairman of PCSL. I tried my level best. But then the president changed. Yes, everything is changed. Now I am the ex-chairman of uh, PCSL, but I am happy that I was trying to at least voice for the un the people who cannot ma you know, come out with their voice. I was maybe at least making a uh, noise and voice for these people. And it is not it is no longer possible for me, but I think, and since people know me that I, I, I talk straight, mm. I talk sense, mm. and maybe in the future, I will not only confine my uh, voice only towards the uh, electricity generation, maybe other subject as well. So I will try my best to make sure that at least people will understand mm. the reality and the truth of what is going on behind. And uh, Mr. Ratnaika, um, Something out of the box, okay. Yes. How's the construction industry doing? Construction industry for for last maybe six or seven months. You know that the uh, cost of uh, constructing one square foot from twelve thousand it has doubled to maybe twenty five thousand rupees. This is high rise. High rise or any construction from maybe you know simple construction from six thousand to fifteen thousand per square foot, plus uh, exorbitant uh, interest rate which is ranging from 25 to 35 and construction industry has come down and many thousands um, people have lost their jobs, innocent people. What happens is like uh, everything should be settled in time to come, especially construction costs should go down, interest rates should come down, then only this will be stable. But we have a long way to go because you know the inflation is hitting around uh, 40 to 50 percent. You need to reduce the inflation below 10 percent to single digit. How do you do that? You curtail the consumption of people. Otherwise, how to do that? So, you have to bring further restrictions to reduce your construction com consumption, per capita consumption, then only the inflation will come down. So, we need to make, we, we had to go through this, the same struggle maybe for another couple of months or a year or maybe few years and they say that we will come back to the previous uh, level of economy what we had before COVID in 2028, long way to go and all these years we need to suffer, suffer unless we bring a proper system where without obtaining further loans you improve your income by various means, by value addition of ex exports, by you know promoting uh, tourism. Now see we go and beg for loans and grants. Instead, you go and tell the other leaders of the world, we don't need money, send maybe more people to visit our country. Facilitate, we facilitate. And instead of you know, sending raw, material, raw, raw materials as exports, you value it. And you, you, you support these immigrant workers who are you know, sending money of uh, seven, eight billion rupees. You facilitate them, give the benefits. And you, instead of sending uh, housemates, you train people. Now, say at uh, PUCSL, we did not fight only against the tariff. And you know that during my time of two years, we have trained, we have given NVQ mm. three certificates to 35,000 people without no cost. Two years. 25,000 electricians were given free of charge NVQ three based on prior learning. 5,000 plumbers, 5,000 solar technicians. Tell me any other institution with a limited mandate, who did work like this, people do not know this. Janaka Ratnaka, the future uh, seems bright, it seems orange with you. We wish you all the very best. Thank you very much. And uh, do come back on Newsline again. Thank you very uh, much. Naveksha will bug you on the phone. Thank you. Thank you. That's the way it was on Newsline recording this evening with Janaka Ratnaka, former chairman, PUCSL. It's now time for the primetime news and take care. Have a great evening as much as you can and... God bless you all.